Good day my little robins, it's me Beth, another week has passed with me to get another video from Well Me here on this channel. If you haven't already read the title, I am back reacting to one of my favourite bands and no for once it's not Poets of the Fall, it's probably one of my second favourite bands on the channel and it is Amaram because you guys have been asking for more of them, especially since I reacted to, you know, the music video for Viral and they're releasing like a new album towards the end of the year. You guys are thirsty for more Amaram and well, some of you gave me lists of songs and I was like, I've reacted to that, reacted to that, reacted to that. Go check out the playlist. I will leave a link at the end of the video if you want to check out more reactions to Amaranth. Today I'm going to be reacting to A Digital World off the album Massive Addictive. Now for me, this is personally, uh, it's middle ground when it comes to Amaranth albums. There are some bangers on there, but then I also think there are some weak songs. So yeah, Digital World, Amaranth. Before we begin, if you want to support me and the channel in the future, you can by clicking a like to show me some love. You can click subscribe and tap that bell to be notified of when I upload on the channel. Enough rambling, let's just dive straight into Amaranth. Let's press play. Amaranth, they do like their long intros when it comes to music videos. I wouldn't expect anything less. There are of course those who do not want to Digital World Amaranth and as you can tell I was head bobbing you couldn't see off screen but I was like I was tapping my fingers on my knee oh 
They're just an all around good band. Now there will be like a lot of Amaran fans that got into this band, you know, after Jake left. But for me personally, I got nothing against Nils. Like he definitely brings like some more power metal like vocals to the band on like, you know, the Helix album. But like Elise, Henrik and Jake, I don't know what it is about them on like earlier Amaram songs, but they just seem to be like the winning combination. And I love their voices together, like the stark contrast and ah, uh, Yes, I've got nothing against Nils, but for me, this trio are pretty much the highlight of Amaram. Uh, I'm gonna get some hate in the comments, but don't hate me because all vocalists are good. I kind of miss Jake the more I go back and watch and listen to older Amaram songs because I'm just there like, oh, I'm never gonna get to see him live with the band, even though I have seen his other band. So. I have seen Jake live, just not with this band, and it infuriates me, although Amaranth are still on my, like, bands to see live list. I'm going off point, we're going to talk about Digital World, and I'm going to admit this now, when I first, like, heard this back, like, 20... I want to say I heard it in, like, 2015, so, like, my final year of uni, I was going through a stage where I was re-watching Digimon, and their theme is Digimon, Digital Monsters, and... I just, and they had the digital world, and I heard this song, and I was just like, oh my god, this would be such, like, a hype opening for, like, Digimon. So, yeah, I get Digimon, like, feels, and this song will always have a place in my heart, because I was re-watching Digimon, and then I heard this song, and I was like, oh, if they made Digimon more grown up, this would be the opening theme. I don't really know to date what the theme is with this music video, there's like a lot of digital elements going on, like on the screen, like with the editing. If I had to take a stab in the dark about what I interpret when I watch this, it's talking, for me, when I watch this, if I had to say what I think the theme was, is like the fact that we can pretty much live our lives on our phones, you know, social media, and we kind of, we kind of, we're a different person, like, in real life than we are on screen, you know, we are protected online when we hide behind a screen and you never really know what you're getting into, but that's my take, is that it was based on kind of technology, kind of becoming everywhere. Feel free in the comments, you know, to post probably a link to an interview where the band have actually said what the video was about, or post your own interpretation down in the comments because I would love to hear it. In the past, I have said Amaranth can either go overboard on their music videos or they can go simple. And for me, I would say this video is the right balance. It's not crazy Amaranth where to the point where you go like, oh, the music video kind of overtakes the song. And it's not simple. It's that middle ground where I feel like this is the perfect Amaranth video, like, it doesn't take itself too seriously, but then, like, it's not over the top and you're kind of there, like, oh, what the, what the hell are they doing? So, yeah, for me, Digital World is, like, that perfect balance, and I wouldn't mind if Amaranth did more music videos like this, because I like over the top when it comes to my bands, trust me. I like my over the top videos, but sometimes, you know, you just have to dial it down and, ah, oh, this song, catchy the chorus like the like the instruments like when you have that bit at the end where you, you could just tell like if you watch this band live and they perform this song that when you're waiting for like the drop at the end i can just imagine everybody you know like on the ground and then when that like when it the beat drops at the end everyone just jumps up and like is jumping and going crazy ah oh, i want to see this song performed live so badly if they have you know, leave a link in the comments and I will check it out. If you want to see me react to any more Amaram on the channel in the future, then comments again is the place to go. Or if you want to see me react to any other band, comments is the place to go. If I had to give Digital World a rating out of 10, guys, it is getting an 8 out of 10, because 8 is great here on the channel. It's not top tier music video, but it's not bottom tier. It's that lovely middle ground. Middle ground that I love. So I'm giving it an 8. In the comments I'd love to hear you know, your guys' thoughts and opinions on the song, the video, the band. Did you like it? Did you not like it? Sound off. Everybody is entitled to their own opinion here on this channel and trust me some of you guys are very opinionated. 
let's just wrap up this video before I continue to ramble. If you want to support me and the channel in the future, you can by clicking like to show me some love. You can click subscribe and tap that bell to be notified of when I upload on this channel. At the end of this video, you can check out my last two videos or playlist, depending on what mood I'm in when I'm editing this. I will definitely leave a link to my Amaranth playlist if you want to go check out more of my reactions. So, winner, winner, chicken dinner. Until next time, I am Beth. Keep listening to good music. Goodbye.